Oh, howdy. I got loaded and whatnot. Here at the TA. I'm in TA's in California. Go to the Park. I uh, got. That'd be good enough. Do this one. Oh, God, fart. Um. Uh, one of the TAs is by Fontana. Getting ready to go back to sleep. What not? So I'm drive tonight. Trying to squeeze out the um, reset. So I can keep on going. I mean, I go, I'll be, I got hours, but the opportunity to get work a reset in without taking the extra time, I'm going to do it. Um, but, um, talk to one driver. I mean, We've been coming to drive for a while. He's telling me some of the secrets about the Spanker National. International. Like, you know, you turn on your bunk heater and that irritating fan in the in the front of the truck comes on. Um, and then the and then the bunk heater shuts off because of a voltage thing. One of the two are both things you can do. First, first one is is a duh one. Like why would you even think about? It? Like it's lazy. A uh, fuse block. Oh, just kind of thing around. You know, behind the international thing, snatch it off. Look for the fuse, look at the schematic, look for the fuse for your fan. Pull it for the night. And he said something about there's a way to reset. Let's see here. Reset. Ring, ring. Okay, maybe remember the new ones. Uh, Supposed to be. Hmm. Uh, I might not have that. Believe me, yes, it does. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. We another bottle of fun there. Okay. See the little hole right there. Turn the other way. Ah. I'm trying to move my finger by looking at the camera. It kind of screws me up. Okay, there. A little pinhole. Guess what you got to do with that? Yeah, poke, poke a paper clip up in there. Um, you stud maintenance. You can get the. You can um. Like you reset your low voltage thing from twelve something to like eleven something. And they should stay on all the time. And maybe you do your own maintenance, reset maintenance in the morning. Didn't even know that. Because Heartland had a different bunk heating system. They actually had, let's say I'm on that, huh? I got my Volvo. There's a little thing underneath your bunk. You just turn on the switch. This is a little different. Um, but, <clears throat> damn, it's getting hot in here quick. That's about it. Pull a fuse, reset that. Is that thing? I mean, it's kind of messed up. It'd be like nice and warm in the back. It's got the blinds open, and your coffee's frozen. You know. So. And he told me why the fan comes on because if you buy one of these trucks, you can get this option where um, it'll recirculate all the air. Well, of course, these company trucks don't have that. But the wiring's still there, so the fan still kicks on when that when that back there kicks on. So that is all happy. I learned about that. That's back to I can understand <laughs> why all the shifts get better fuel mileage. It's because the gearing. But he kept on quoting company propaganda, you know. I feel I'm like, yeah, mine, I can, and this one here can be um, converted over to 13. Well, they won't spend all that money with $300. That's all bad parts. I mean, less than that. Gear shifter and run airlines. But, I'm trying to get some, get across. Fuel is not the reason, it's a partial reason, maybe a side effect. But go with auto shifts and everything. The standard for hiring a driver is brought down so they can hire more. 
it'll cost them more. They don't figure that out because mistakes and everything. But I mean, before this company went public, you had to have at least two years' experience, and they throw money at you. Yay! Now it's another step in some company. Company, get get your um, get your dingling wet in. Yep. And there's rumors that um, Knight might be end up buying out uh, CR England. You know, the other member of the Mormon militia, Mormon mafia. But that's that. It's getting real hot in here. <laughs> My hoo-hoo's getting wet. <laughs> Bye. Cameras over here, buttons over there. Mm. Yeah.